YouTube, what is good, man? Zader here. We are going to get straight into this, man. We are strictly talking NBA trade deadline. Literally ended two and a half hours ago. I just got back from work not too long ago. And man, literally was leaving work when the James Harden news broke. And not surprised. So without further ado, let's look at all the trades. Uh, let's talk about it. Thoughts, reactions, stuff like that. I'm glad I waited. I was going to do a video just on Harden. Glad I waited because there was a couple last second deals and obviously deals before uh, leading up to the Harden trade that were, were pretty big, I, I would say, in the NBA. So without further ado, so we're going to start here. Uh, Cam Reddish from the Hawks for Kevin Knox. Uh, very, very good trade. Uh, I, I was surprised to not see Reddish dealt again, considering that uh, Thibodeau does not want him in New York. I don't know why. He's literally like, in a sense, just benching him and slowly letting him drift off the team. I think he's only getting like seven minutes a game now. Uh, they get rid of Kevin Knox, though. Not really working out, obviously. So there's that. Uh, the Clippers got Norman Powell and Robert Covington from the Blazers. Uh, this trade really didn't make sense to me. They got Eric Bledsoe for it. Uh, Eric Bledsoe's kind of... I mean, everybody in this in this trade is kind of whatever. Really good role player. I mean, Robert Covington's pretty good. Justice Winslow, you know, is here and there. Um, but kind of shocked to see that at first. I, I was really kind of surprised about that and kind of thought that maybe the Blazers were going to make a move. And it ended up, you know, ends up saving cap, sp cap space, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to get into the, you know, cap space and money and, and this and that. But that was an okay trade. Like I said, kind of surprised me that they did that. Um, next, um, the Pacers sent Levert to the Cavs for Rubio in picks. That was awesome. That's a good pickup for the Cavs. I mean, they're a young and growing team already. Uh, Sexton's obviously hurt, but they have Garland. Have Levert now. Kevin Love's playing a good role now with the team, even though he's getting older. Uh, I I like the Cavs, man. They they have that firepower. They they have that young talent to maybe lure. You know, I'm not gonna say maybe LeBron James something like that. Uh, just kidding though. Maybe like a LeBron, KD, like Le Damian Lillard. Maybe you know. I, I'm just I'm just I'm just blowing smoke. So, and then this one. This one, C.J. McCollum to the Pelicans. So, trading C.J. to the Pelicans for a package centered around Josh Hart. So, Josh Hart being the big one, obviously. The Pelicans also got Larry Nance and Tony Snell. Um, I was surprised to see the Pelicans walk away from Alexander Walker. Uh, he's been a really, really good, promising young player. But... I honestly thought Dame was going to go first, I, if I'm being completely honest. I thought Dame was going to be gone at the trade deadline, and it didn't. And I kind of think that blindsided Dame. I mean, Dame's out with injury, but this I thought Dame was done before uh, this trade took place, both trades actually. He's 100% done with Portland. He will not be coming back. He's not going to be part of a rebuild at this point. He needs to go to a team to compete and win now. Um, Lakers, Celtics, teams like that, like like good, good teams that need that one person. Yes, the Lakers suck ass right now, but dude, you cannot tell me Damon Lillard will play a thousand times better than Russell Westbrook right now. Literally. Um, the good thing though is that the Blazers did get the picks. Uh, a couple first round picks, so you never know. the The picks are weird. Obviously, you have to throw picks in and out of trades. It's a part of the business. Uh, could get a gem, could not. You could get a LeBron, a Kobe, a Michael Jordan, or you could get an Anthony Bennett, Greg Oden. So, uh, but yeah, I, that kind of shocked me, especially. Zion's not even back either. Like Zion's probably not even going to play this year. Like let's be honest. Let's let's totally be honest about this. So it's just CJ and Ingram pretty much and and hopes that they can keep Zion, which I I don't know if that's going to happen. So 
Um, and then this one. Halliburton and Buddy healed to Indiana, and Sabonis obviously went to Sacramento. Oh, dude, can we... Quick prayer in the chat uh, for any King fans out there. If you guys do this, see this. I'm sorry. You guys are one of the worst franchises ever when it comes to keeping talent or or keeping players around. Halliburton had so much promise for you. Literally so much promise. I expected Buddy Heald to go. I knew he he's obviously been on the trading block for a while. The bonus isn't a bad pickup for Sacramento. I, I thought that maybe De'Aaron Fox would be on the move instead of Halliburton. De'Aaron Fox has been thrown around in the trade rumors, but he healed, obviously, that they were going to be a package. Um, I think at one point they had reached out to the Knicks, maybe for a De'Aaron Fox, a Buddy Heald for Kemba, uh, players in, in, in that category. But I didn't like this one for the Kings, dude. That's a huge L for them. Uh, so, like I said, Sabonis is good, but... Halliburton's young, he's energetic, he's he's playing his ass off this year, and I, I just Ugh, dude, I I don't know. Um this one <clears throat> is kind of whatever. Blah blah blah. There's some of them that aren't really like game changing. Uh I was surprised to see the Celtics getting rid of Bull Bull and him going to the Magic, so Magic got two of the biggest motherfuckers in the league now. They got Mo Bamba and Bull Bull. Uh I want Bull Bull to get that chance, dude. Literally. Uh, the the Nuggets didn't utilize him enough. He has the height and the fucking potential to be a baller. He, he literally does, man. He has the, the height and the ability to be a great, but just haven't seen it yet. So obviously, you know, Celtics saved money by making that move. Uh, Josh Richardson to the Spurs for Derek White. Uh, Suns got Torrey Craig. A uh, little surprised to see the Raptors get rid of Drogic uh, for Thaddeus Young. Kind of sad to see him go. I've always liked Goran Drogic. He's he's always been a great player to me. He's a uh, super energetic man. He's got he's got a stroke, dude. He he's a shooter. So this one, uh, Marvin Bagley was another one on the Kings. I expected to go. I actually forgot that he went until I saw that. There there were so many. I was at work like checking all of it. Uh, but Surge to the Bucks is a huge pickup. Uh, obviously, he's not what he is, you know, in the beginning of Toronto or when he was with OKC. But playoff experience, he's a big, plays alongside Giannis. A DiVincenzo to the Kings. He just wasn't working out this year. Uh, I just don't see him doing anything in Sacramento, honestly. And uh, Sacramento, I just see him kind of fizzling, as sad as that sounds. But Pistons get another big man. Serge Ibaka is going to the Bucks. Um, This one, the Celtics get back Daniel Tice from the, uh, from the Rockets for Schroeder. Uh, I, I think Dennis is going to go back to the Lakers. That's a huge rumor. Obviously, the Lakers didn't make any moves. I don't see him staying with the Rockets. Um, this one, though, this cracked me up. Kristaps Porzingis is heading to the Wizards for Spencer Dinwiddie. Bro. You don't know how many people literally thought that Luka and Kristaps and were going to be this duo, this crazy duo, which they had the potential to be. Kristaps is not horrible. People were jumping on his shit really hard in New York. He's not a fucking like a all-time great. He's not the worst, but he's 7-3 and he can't get boards, dude. Can't. And and Luka literally still carries that team. Luka does everything for that team. He's literally a walking triple-double. They may not win every game, but he literally has the team on his fucking back. And it's just crazy to see Porzingis go from New York to Dallas. Mark Cuban says, I want to keep him and Luka together. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I will do whatever. And then boom. Spencer Dinwiddie. Bro. This one, though. This is the big one right here. We're going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, I do want to know what your guys' thoughts and reactions are about regarding this. So obviously James Harden is going to Philly and Ben Simmons is going to Brooklyn. So 
The Nets are trading Harden, Millsap to the Sixers for Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, and two first rounders. So right away, right off the bat, uh, like I said, let me know in the comments who you guys thought won the trade, who lost. I think short term, right away, Sixers win this easily. You put Harden with Embiid. I, I don't need to say more. Embiid is easily top two, maybe top three for MVP with Jokic. He's literally a, a demon right now. And Harden, we, we know what Harden can do. Harden is capable of a ton of things. I just dropped my phone. Harden is capable of a ton of things. It's James Harden. He's a superstar no matter how you look at it. The big three in Brooklyn, that is the biggest flop of a big three ever. They played 16 games together. 16. I'm just like, how? Like, how, how, how does that happen? I. But that's the thing. They knew. And I, I understand. I get it from Harden's side. KD being injured, yes, that's something that you know. Obviously, he had the Achilles injury in the finals. He was with Golden State. You know that's lingering in the back of Harden's mind. Kyrie, I didn't think he was going to be so anti-vax. He's very out there and very opinionated about things, but what is Harden going to do? Like, he comes into this thinking, best case scenario, I mean, I, I don't even think they were thinking about that with, with Kyrie, but he's coming in their best case scenario. KD returns to his form like he's always been pretty much his whole career, and Kyrie is playing like he's back in the in, in the Cavs. Like, he's fallen off since leaving the Cavs out, outside of basketball. Very opinionated. He's into a bunch of different beliefs, blah, blah, blah. And it just it didn't work. Harden wanted out. He didn't like living in Brooklyn, which Philadelphia is probably not much better. But he gets out of that. Ben Simmons finally gets out of Philly. I think Ben Simmons, I, I like Ben Simmons. Big fuck up. He's lucky he got traded. He's really lucky he got traded because I thought the Sixers were going to hold on to him the whole year. And Ben Simmons wouldn't have came back. There's no way he's playing for, for Philly. He burned that bridge. It's 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 long, long, long gone. Um, but the Nets have Simmons, who's going to play eventually. He needs to just work on his jumper, and we don't know. We don't know what Ben Simmons is going to be. We don't know if he's still in shape or, or whatever else. So, But Simmons has to work on a jumper. He has to get a jump shot. At some point, he can't. He's he's a great all around player when it comes to rebounding, passing. Time he was a good leader, not really now. The whole thing with with Simmons and Embiid just didn't work out. It 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 comes down to Simmons. It it really did. It came down to Simmons, and it just Ben Simmons felt betrayed. Uh, obviously, holding out and. He's paying big time for it. I mean, he's been fined $20 million this year uh, alone for, for holding out this long. So um, I don't want to make this video too much longer. But like I said, short term, I think Philly wins this trade. Long term, I could see Brooklyn doing it. Let's say Ben Simmons maybe gets a jumper. Let's I, and not even a, He doesn't even need to consistently knock stuff down. If he has an okay jumper, Kyrie gets vaccinated and KD's healthy. Who knows, man? That could be a weird big three. But you, you know what you're going to get out of Kyrie and KD. But Ben Simmons is a real mystery. So right off the bat, though, like I said, you put Harden with Embiid. That's, they're meshing together uh, amazing. The Nets are also getting... <clears throat> or the Sixers also have... Uh, fuck, I can't talk. The Nets are also getting Seth Curry. He's a shooter, man. He He shoots lights out. He's... I mean, obviously, Steph is the better one. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I really do hope the best for, for both Simmons and Harden. Um, I do have my opinions about Harden. I think he's bitched his way out of a lot of stuff, a lot of situations. Obviously, he, he pretty much bitched his way out of Houston. Yes, they were rebuilding, but he was very opinionated about that. Wanted to go to Brooklyn, wanted out. I want out, I want out. Goes to Brooklyn. Things don't work out. Who's around the corner again? Oh, Harden. Oh, I don't want to be here. Oh, and then I'm worried about the public black backlash. That's the reputation you've built for yourself, though. So, 
but we'll see, man. Uh, both these teams are, I, I think, going to make the playoffs. Uh, they do have their first matchup, though, uh, March 10th. So mark your calendars. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, though, uh, obviously leave a like, comment. If you really enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe. Uh, like I said, I always try to say this is mainly a gaming channel, but I do do sports videos. Uh, it's just in my nature. I love doing sports. I would love to mix gaming and sports together. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and feedback regarding uh, crazy, you know, last four or five days that took place in the NBA. Let's talk about it in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.